For all your TCG needs, make sure to check out alphatradingcardgames.com. Yo, what's poppin' everybody? It's a Saber Wolf Fighter 4. Got a TCG match with our IH slash anti-meta deck. Not the greatest deck in the world, and you do have to get lucky with it, of course. Uh, if I'm being honest, it's been a pain in the ass using this deck because uh, just there's always something that goes wrong. There's a lot of different decks and Pokemon that do actually out Age of Slash and any other Pokemon with these sort of uh, immunity abilities. It's not even like how back in how they printed these, uh, you know, wall Pokemon since the black and white, I want to say now, even during the EX era, actually, where they'd be immune to effects and damage. Not just damage. But anyway, we're going to start with Mimikyu. And I got the Honich already. This is a pretty good start, actually. I got a few level balls. And I got Corina to draw some extra cards after we thin the hand with the level balls. So as good a start as any, to be honest. And my opponent, he opened up with his Charmander. But he also has the Roran Muniex as well. Which these guys don't usually go together. I mean, they're both popular meta Pokemon, you know, Charizard and uh, Roran Moon, but I can't say I've seen them together before like this. I mean, if he's running the Charmander, he's running the Charizard. He's not just going to have that lone Charmander over there for no reason. That's why I say that. But anyway, we're going to get our basic Pokemon down. I got an energy to I can attach. And, um,. Got Iono as well, I'll be able to use that next turn, it won't be supporterless. So the deck is cooperating me, co cooperating with me so far. Did I say that right? I think I did. <laughs> um, might be strange to say this, but English is not my first language. Okay. And um, he's got the B-Doof as well, so be barrel, some typical stuff. I don't know if there's going to be Pidgeot over here too, but... You know, he's already running a bunch of different things together. If you consider the moon with the Charizard. Darkness energies and fire energies too. I suppose the Charizard is self-sufficient in the sense that you get him out, you can grab the fire energies and he's powered up. So it's not like moon is going to be affected in that sense. You can still put the manual attachments on that thing. But you're still having darkness energies with fire energies too, which should cut your consistency up. Okay, Char's RDX is ready to go, but thankfully Mimikyu is the perfect counter for it. I hope he can't do much while i in the process of getting the Aegis Slashes out. Of course, he does have the boss's orders. Pissing me off, but okay, that's one down. You get to do this trick, you can't do it forever. So he gets a prize. I'm going to, well... I'll promote the Mimikyu again. And uh, we're going to use this opportunity to use the Irida, get the Manaphy, and get a Candy. I get the first Aegis Slash out. But that's another thing that is a pain in the ass for this deck. Your opponent pulling while you're in the process of setting up. It's not like you can get a bunch of Aegis Slashes miraculously super quick in one turn. So they got that out as well. Uh, last time it was that Giratina with the Shred. That was an out. And they're just, there's just all sorts of Pokemon that can out this thing. I mean, Rory Moore can actually, he can actually kill the Aegis Slash. I don't know if I've said that in the deck profile. I think I did. But he can actually kill it. Now it won't be pretty for them because they want to do that to get a big KO and an EX when they use Frenzied Gaujin. But even though it's not a deal for them, it's still a, a way to out the Age of Slash. Meanwhile, I'm slow to set up. I mean, reversal energies can help. But, you know, a little bit of a KO here before you evolve. A boss's orders here. You know, a friends at Gaijin here. Before you know it, they can get all the prizes. Now, Bibaro has come out. This guy's going to get a little bit more consistent draw. He plays the Magma Basin down. I would like to get rid of that. As soon as possible but you know it's just we used the Eerie down the previous turn I am running slow I mean this hand 
I don't want to eat no bite. I don't want to use oak either. Now we're going to do counter catcher. Get the barrel stuck, hopefully. He does have an energy though on it. And the ultra ball. Okay, great. Perfect. Just what I needed. I see the other rare candy, so we get the other ages slash out. So now I can use the oak without losing anything. I lost the Eono, but that's about it. Uh, the Path of the Peak, very good. Get that down as well. And we get another Honich. Getting these guys out. I do need to be a little bit careful with the EX because uh, we can't get that out while the Charizards are there. That would be bad. Um... He gets he gets the one hit KO easily and whether he gets whether I get prizes or not. Alright. Serena as well. That's a strange strange radiant Pokemon to have in this deck. I guess maybe it can help with the Charizard because it can tank, but uh is there really much point in having this? I don't know. I mean with Moon usually you're gonna have Greninja to discord energies and do all those combos but this guy's deck isn't your typical deck i don't know favoring all of the dragon pokemon i mean Salam uh, charizard i guess technically it's a dragon too ever since x and y the dragon like pokemon all right so puts the second energy on the barrel as well so he can move that out of the way if he wants to but he actually just stayed there and he's pissed. You have no right to be pissed, my friend. No right at all. When these regular Pokemon, these Aegis Lash, is a complete shit Pokemon. If it wasn't for that immunity ability that you kind of have to get lucky with. 150 HP is crap. 120 for 2 is horrible. Like, you barely kill. We just barely kill this Barbaro in one shot. And you got motherfuckers that want to complain too. It's just, the whole thing is a mess, man. You got all of these new players, and even some of the older players that are just going to be Pokemon ass kissers, no matter what, or TCG ass kissers, that just can't get through their heads, that the game is not balanced in a way. The designers are doing a piss poor job having things to be balanced and fair with the, between the regular Pokemon and the rule box Pokemon. How many times am I going to have to say this? But anyway, um, we got all of the Mimikyu's down. So so that I don't, you know, redraw these Pokemon when I shuffle my hand back in with Eono and stuff. At least get some stuff down. Uh, the Mimikyu's are a safe thing. They're immune the same way as Aegislash is. There was no point in me getting things like Mana Fear Jirachi down. Um, we're not playing against Sableye. So... The way I have my bench is perfect. I get the other Aegis Slash EX2, and then this guy just needs specific Pokemon that are not EX to damage me. So Moon is coming out. He can use this guy to get a KO. Of course, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put the Reversal Energy and attack, attack with the other Aegis Slash. But I'm looking good so far. Hopefully the Path of the Peak hinders him as well. I mean, he's really just stuck there, not knowing what to do. In the end, he did go for the Frenzied Gaujin. That is fine with me. 200 on this elements. You're going to get one prize, and I'll be able to retaliate nicely now. And I'll actually have the lead. Alrighty, so the trekking shoes. Let's draw a few things. And uh, yes, Aegislash. Slash. The other one is out. And from now on, I mean, I think I should get by with these guys. It's not going to be easy for him to deal with them. But we're going to be looking for Miriam if I need to recover some of these stage twos. Okay, so here goes 120. The Roaring Moon is out. And now he has just basically the Charizard. That can't damage the Aegis Slash. Another Roaring Moon is kind of halfway powered up. Um, he could use that too again if he wants to. I mean, you get another KO, then uh, 
I can kill another EX easily. But uh, hopefully he can't do it now because I need to, I need to power up the other dude as well. Uh, now that we're at head and prizes, I'll actually need to put the metal energy on the activated slash. So we kind of need to buy some time. That's the other thing too. This stupid 120 attack, they couldn't even make it work with one energy. One energy, man. They couldn't do that. You know? You had things like Vivid Voltage Dawn Fan that worked, did 120 for one energy. That didn't do anything. Like, I'm the only dude that used it. Me and maybe three more people on the planet. That was as good as a regular Pokemon that could have come out in recent times. You know, Stage 1... Does 120 had the same HP as this Age of Slash at 150? And it could also take advantage of things like strong, not strong energy, stone energy. But yeah, strong energy too if you used it and expanded it. It was as good as a regular Pokemon that they could have made. And it still wasn't enough. Alright, now thankfully he couldn't do anything, which gives me more time to set up. I'm going to go for that um, Miriam. We're only grabbing one Age of Slash, but... I think it's fine. I mean, Copycat wasn't going to be a good supporter right now. So get the one Aegis Slash back. I got a few of the Honages too. And basically, I need to get by with the stuff that I got here. I'm going to use the Ultra Ball, get rid of the Jirachis, remove these unnecessary cards from our deck. And uh, get the EX actually. Maybe that was actually bad. Um, I didn't deal with the Charizard yet. But regardless, we damaged the moon. So now that if he does go for an attack, he dies on his turn. If he goes for Frenzy Gaujin. So that's perfect. He gets a second Barrel out. Since I killed the first one. Um, but no matter what he draws, if he doesn't have the outs... Um, Charmeleon is a way you can sort of, in Charizard decks, you use that to attack the Aegis Slash, but um, it doesn't quite do it, even that card. There's the one Charmeleon that does 2 for 70, that's usually used as a stage 1 um, in Charizard. It doesn't quite do the job, but I mean, it is going to hurt the Aegis Slash bad. There's another one that can do like, I think, 80 for 3, and that gets the one hit KO. Uh, but he needs three energies. So these are really his options if he was just gonna go that direction. Uh, he Eonote me, or Ionote me, whatever. But it doesn't look like he can do anything. And this is really just how you win with this Aegis Slash deck. That you just, they can't do anything and then you just slowly kill them off. Because 120 for 2 is weak as hell. You gotta make three attacks most of the time to get a KO. But I am looking good so far. I got the lead even. I'll get a manual attachment on the other stage too. And I mean, that'll be it. Man, it would really kind of suck if I just do 120 more and then he goes for the Frenzied Gouging next turn. <sighs> so pathetic, man. And I was this close to telling him, what the hell are you doing, taking so long? Alright, you know. Gonna do this. Um, Ultra Ball, Earthen Vessel. I guess I'll, I'll just do that to thin the deck. How many energies do we got left? We just got one. Okay. Gotta be a bit careful. You can run out of energies in this deck. It, it, it had happened to me before. So 240. So I hope he doesn't just do the Frenzied Gaijin now, sort of wasting my turns of attacking. I still get the KO and I'll be down to one prize, but I'd rather he just let the dude die at this point and I just have the both Aegis Slashes. Counter catcher, oh, damn, that's annoying. I guess he's gonna target down the whole niche with that. Um, fine, I suppose. If you want to do that, you get one more prize. I think we may not even really utilize the EX this game, but as long as I win, it doesn't matter. 
This guy takes forever. It takes forever. I know that you can't do much, but please, no matter how you think about it. Okay, so he puts the fire energy on the moon. So I think what he's going to do is he's going to go for, uh, I guess, the regular attack. Goes for vessel, discards the candy, more darkness energies. Please do something. Make a play finally. This match has gone long enough. But I mean, that's how it goes. Even even if you win, it's not gonna be like if your opponent doesn't scoop when they get stuck. It's just gonna be a long win that match like this where they're just sort of struggling. Okay, counter catcher. It took you ten years to make this basic play. If you can't do anything else, what are you thinking about? So he puts the honage active. It's going for a nest ball. Another Charmander. Can you please finally attack? Motherfucker. Okay, finally goes for it. Discards the stadium, doesn't matter. Okay. Now, we're going to promote the Aegislash, and at least I get to kill this moon without losing any of the Aegislashes. So now I'll be down to one prize. I uh, got a copycat, I'll do that. Um, at this point, there's not really much I'm looking for. I guess more energies. Play another Path of the Peak down. Um, do we even use these sort of cards? Nest ball, uh, another honey. I guess I'll get you down, but maybe I'm just giving him more prizes to get. Anyway, you never know. Maybe I will use the X. But we do get this KO. I'll get two more prizes. And we get no energies. I get the candy, though. And now it's up to this Charizard. It is actually a little bit dangerous. What he could do is just stall out, just get the Charizards out, and just keep switching between them so that I can't win. Because Aegis does so little damage. But I mean, because I have N and only one card for prizes, I think I'll be okay. He won't get to deck me out. I would hope. All right, so here goes. We're just gonna be attacking. I mean, if I actually saw a metal energy, I can just evolve into the EX switch and then just do 350 and then everything dies. Won't be any tricks. So we go for 120. Charizard is hurt. Still needs two more attacks though. This guy, I mean, there's nothing he can use really to attack. He didn't get any Charmeleons out. He keeps going into Charizard. I don't know why, when you can't use that to do anything. You know, at least if you get the Charmeleons out, you can put in some resistance. You know, he already took three prizes without even using that. Um, oh, crap. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, that was my, my mistake. Uh, I, I could have just won this turn, but anyway, okay. Next turn, next turn, we're gonna evolve into the EX, attach the metal, and then just finish this off. Damn it. Anyway, he's still going, though he hasn't scooped. He's going for boss's orders. Damn it. Is he gonna kill the Honage now? I had to make that mistake. And he attaches a darkness energy. Please just finish your turn so I can end this already. Uh, we were going to be done by the previous turn if I didn't forget. Not paying attention. He switches on to this Charizard. And I guess he is going to go for this uh, get me stuck uh, angle. That's why he didn't use the boss's orders, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll attach the energy, I'll go for the switch. And then I just finished this thing off. 350 damage. Beautiful. 
So that's the game, long-winded, but that's how a lot of these Aegis Slash matches are going to be. Your opponent gets stuck and they can't do anything. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, share the video with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time. What a